when Brad came to me and proposed that we take a picture every day of the year, uh, I was all in. It was like telling a fisherman that he's going to have to go fishing every day of the year. And uh, I just know uh, that immediately I was excited. I also knew it was going to be a huge commitment. Uh, but I like challenges. I like having deadlines. Uh, we both work better under deadlines. Our business had grown so much that we really didn't have enough opportunity to get out and shoot like we had in the past. Uh, we, we were just too busy paying attention to, to the growing pains of business. And uh, so this was a way to force us to get off the couch and out the door and, and out we went and it was a wonderful experience. For me, uh, the 365 project was the perfect timing. Debbie, uh, my wife, she, she was busy studying to become an RN and she was pouring her heart and soul into that. So it was just uh, awesome for me to have a project that I could pour my heart and soul into at the same time. And uh, it was kind of a situation where it was good for me to get out of the house and allow her um, personal time to study. And on the other hand, it was, it was great to just uh, have uh, wonderful moments together after we both had worked hard at, at pouring our heart into our work. 365 for me was such a personal journey. A lot of times it was a lone journey. Uh, my wife was busy studying to become a registered nurse and, and uh, Brad and I, people asked, did you shoot together a lot? No, mostly we were on our own timetables and our own courses. And coincidentally, sometimes we ended up being in the same place at the same time. But most of all, it was a very lone journey and a very meaningful journey. It was a chance to really be reborn photographically, to rediscover many of the amazing places in our region and elsewhere that uh, I love and, uh, and used to spend time or sporadically spend time, but now was able to really go back and go back and go back and up and down those roads and up and down lakeshores and, and waterways and, and uh, really, really try to make the image that I had in my mind for a long time or discover the one that I had no, no place in my mind but, but it uh, presented itself. So, so for me it was, it, was, it was a photographic rebirth and, and uh, it was an awesome journey and uh, I think in the process of doing that that I experienced many of the same things that people who would view our videos or books uh, of the 365 Project uh, experience during that year and I think that's one of the big values of the project and and I think people will identify with with what we shot whether that's Lake Michigan storms or a pretty sunset or where it, whether it's out in a cherry orchard in in Riverton Township or whether it's a it's on a, a farm on on a Conrad Road one of my favorite places and uh, or whether it's uh, seeing a huge uh, buck at the flooding pump storage hydroelectric plant you know those are, those are things that other people enjoy doing too or, or, or encounter in their jobs and pastimes. So, so I think that's one of the big values of the project is that other people co-experienced it uh, in their own ways with their own vision. 365 began, my first image of the year was the ball drop. The intersection of downtown Ludington, several thousand people gathered, all watching this uh, lighted ball coming down into the intersection uh, at the main corners of Bloodington. And it was a very amazing man-made experience. That many people gathered in a small town. It was very Norman Rockwell, and I think the image captured that. Um, I wanted to end the project by returning to the ball drop. And so the last picture of the year is not the ball once it touches down because that started 2010. It's the ball coming down but it hasn't yet hit and, and, and that picture had even more meaning for me because I had put my heart and soul for a year into shooting these 365 pictures and now before me I had a rerun only with now instead of 4,000 people there were probably seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 people gathered in the street and the picture was even more beautiful and the ball is dropping and it's framed against the black sky and uh, 
and it, it reminded me of Ansel Adams' picture of moonrise over Hernandez, New Mexico. It was just a kind of a, a very, very spiritual picture, and it, it just said a lot about life and humanity. My wife Debbie likes to say that uh, you never think of anything in life but as a picture. And uh, saying that to me uh, was not a criticism, it's just a, a fact. I'm so visually oriented. I love seeing and experiencing the uh, peak visual moments of my life. And, uh, and so does Brad. And, and I thank Brad for the opportunity to get out there and, and really experience uh, so many great visual moments in 365 different days. And there's so many images that aren't in the book that didn't make the cut that were still amazing experiences and, uh, and, uh, and many of them uh, great peak moments just uh, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't make the cut, but they're, they're uh, in my mental diary. You know, some people are uh, hunters and some people are fishermen. Um, for Brad and I, we can be both of those, but most of all, we're photo hunters. And if you were a hunter or fisherman, you'd understand how intense that is and, uh, and how you literally uh, are fully engrossed in, in your photography uh, when, when we're out there in the world. And there's, there's nothing that I love to do better than photo hunting and finding the found picture. It's, it's going up and down country roads. It's, it's walking the beaches. It's plying Lake Michigan on, on our little boat. And, and looking for images. Uh, it's doing it day after day, um, night after night. It, it's, it's, um, it's literally um, being out there and, and searching and, and trying to um, be sensitive and, and find that, that great moment that uh, is only there for one moment in time.